I'm Annabelle Croft alongside the seven-time Grand Slam champion Matt Verlander and we've also got Craig O'Shaughnessy here with us to have a closer look back at the women's final of course one between or one by Serena Williams over Garvey and Muguruza so uh, tell us what you've got and your overall thoughts first of all. Well a very good win from Serena didn't play her best but got over the line at the end and I wanted to have a look at how well she served for the tournament and uh, compared to what she did in the final. She wasn't quite as good in the final in the important moments. Uh, when the score was at 30 all or deuce with Serena serving against Sharapova, she won five for five of those points. In the final, four for 10. So when those bigger points came along, she opened the door a little bit. Muguruza, was, uh, she won five for six on those big points. So you, know, you don't have to win every point, and those, uh, th those were very telling uh, for Serena that got her in a little bit of a hole. In the service games won, when Serena won the first point, she won every single one of those service games six, six for six. But when she lost the opening point, she went one for four. So it was very situational with what happened. We had 12 aces, eight double faults, started with three double faults. Now she looked a little nervous yeah. and it kind of came out through the serve. She did, yeah. I, I don't know. It's hard to explain why yeah. she would come out like that, except she'd be very, uh, very aware of the fact that Muguruza is very big. She had, she had uh, serious reach, good forehand, good backhand return, and, uh, and she puts a lot of returns back in play as well. Yeah. The serving uh, locations were interesting. Serena served 23 times right down the middle of the court. And here we're looking at some wonderful footage from the first set. 23 went straight down the middle, 14 went wide and zero with the body, which is a little surprising. With that much power, you know, mixing it up and keeping the opponent guessing, you think that you get a couple with the body. For the overall tournament, Serena served 125 times down the middle, 123 times out wide and only 10 at the body. So she mixed that up very, very well. And Muguruza, I mean, that's one of the major parts of her game, Matt. And actually, she did get off to a flying start in this match. And at the beginning here, you can see, as we talked about earlier, very up on that baseline, inside body weight going through the court. And actually had a, a huge amount of success in that department. Yeah, and as you can tell, when she hits the forehand, it's extremely hard to know which way she's going to go. Because she hits it so far in front of her, and she's able to hook it. Uh, and she can also put, hit, hit the inside outspin into her opponent's backhand. Second serves were also a problem area for Serena. She was winning 51% coming into the final. She only won 35%. Wow. So those double faults will certainly factor in there. Yeah, and she's not a big double faulter in the, in the sport, is she? I mean, you don't think of Serena Williams as throwing in too many double faults. Actually quite a high number for her. Yeah, she serves very few double faults, especially when you compare it to the number of aces. She's just afraid, I think. She was afraid of Muguruza's return. Uh, early on, and, uh, and especially that forehand side. Well, as you'd expect, Serena Williams so quick off the mark up mm -hmm. to that short ball, doesn't waste an opportunity to sort of hammer away and uh, really be aggressive off anything that is vaguely short. And there's that forehand you talked about, Matt. She actually hits it with quite a bit of wrist action, doesn't she, Garvin Muguruza? It sort of gives it that extra snap at the end of the swing. Definitely. I mean, it helps to be as tall as she is because she's hitting down on a lot of forehands rather than hitting up. Most players like that. Serena hit up on it a little bit and put some spin, whereas Muguruza is so tall she can actually, the, her strike zone is about maybe half a foot mm. uh, above what normal players would be. She battled well against the serve. Serena's serve was a little bit off, but it was still difficult for Muguruza to return well. Her tournament average uh, returns in play was 77%, and the final 50%. But that, you know, that number is always going to drop when Serena is standing on the other side of the net. We're going to take a look back at the second set as well here, because by this stage you felt like those early nerves from Serena Williams had sort of evaporated out there. She was off to a fast start and started to really flow. And I guess. It, Muguruza, would you say Matt's came a little bit off her game at this stage? Yeah, definitely. And I think it's hard to say. She's maybe going for a little bit too much in that second set. But I think Serena raised her game a little bit, went, went for it a little bit harder. And, and Muguruza just didn't time the ball as well. But, it, I mean, it, it just seemed like Serena was, you know, was just fire. running and running away with the, with the match. And happy she won the first set. Now I can relax a little bit. 
Well, here she was dictating Craig and went off to a, a racing start in that second set. She was up 4-1, actually took it to 5-1 as well. But here you can see it was more Serena starting to control the points, wasn't it? Exactly. 80% of all points in the final happened in the 0-4 to four range. So there was a lot of first strike tennis, 16% between 5 through 8, and only 4% of total points uh, lasted at least nine shots. So if you, you know, you're a young junior or you're, you're a coach out there and you look at a final like this and you say, well, 80% of all points are in the first four shots, you want to fashion your practices uh, accordingly. And this is where things started to change around. I don't know what you put it down to, Matt, but she started to open up the shoulders a little bit, started to find her range again, and uh, the crowd was on her side. They wanted more tennis, and she started to make a bit of a comeback. She did. It was an unbelievable turnaround, actually. There's no way anyone could have picked that Serena Williams was going to drop serve twice while she served for her sixth Wimbledon. But it happened, and uh, credit to Muguruza, because she hung in there mentally and tactically. She was still trying to, trying to go for her shots, but... In the end, again, Serena Williams, but it was interesting to see at the end how Serena Williams got a little bit tight, a little frustrated, and some brilliant points and retrieving by both players at the end of the match. And there was a little bit of exasperation on the face of Serena Williams. She certainly started to tighten up and uh, looking more across at Patrick, a little bit exasperated, but... Uh, she got it together in the end. Yeah, it was a very good comeback. 5-1 down, back to 5-4. Uh, hitting the forehand bigger. Overall, uh, Muguruza probably won't be too happy with her um, baseline play. She only won 42% and a tournament average was 48%. Serena was up at 51% and dropped to 50 So, you know, Serena got on top of that baseline play. One interesting thing, Muguruza won 6 of 8 at the net mats. Could she have come in a little bit more with such a high winning percentage there? Well, I mean, you have to do something to disturb the rhythm of Serena Williams. And, and one way is to come forward so the point doesn't end on Serena's terms, really. You decide, I'm going to end the point by making a, a tactical um, change and come forward. She's big enough and she could have forced Serena to hit some passing shots. But also, I think it was hard for her because she was ahead in the first set. Something was working. And when something is working, it's hard to suddenly throw something else in. And then she went away in the second set and she was so far behind and then suddenly you don't want to be too desperate and, and throw something in so she yes needs to start coming forwards that would be the way forwards for her i would think okay well thank you very much for that craig uh, absolutely fantastic analysis as always